Any special excitement going into what could be your last game playing in, in your home state? Uh, I'd say not, not excitement. Um, I want to go out there and do my job and um, help my team be victorious. Um, yeah, we back in Florida and stuff like that. I, I, that's where you're going with it. But um, I'm just ready to go out there and get this win, this W, um, and help my team in any way I can. You got more family coming out for this game? Of course. Yes, sir. How uh, are you feeling physically just after having to deal with those injuries earlier? Oh, well, I'm good. Um, I've been in treatment, getting treatment, taking care of my body with Mr. Ryan and stuff like that. So I'm, I'm good. In treatment is pretty much a daily thing for a running back, though. Yeah. I mean, as much pounding you guys get. Give me the kind of a, your, your routine, I guess, uh, for somebody like uh, this. Depending on the day, I got class. Other day, I don't. So I wake up. Um, day I don't get class around like 7.30. Get here by like 8, 8.15. Um, just basically, I'm in the training room around until I got um, ranking or anything like that. Mm -hmm. and, uh, go watch a little film while I'm getting treatment and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. Basically, I'm just in there. Whatever bothers me that day, I'm getting treatment. You're pushing the tubs, that kind of thing? Or pushing the huh? In the tubs and things? Oh, yeah, I get on the tubs whenever. Before practice, after practice, that's, that's, that's every day. Every yeah. week. Yes, sir. Yeah. Is, is there any special food place you're going to try to get while you're back down there? Is it food? Yeah. <laughs> um, I'm not sure they got snappers up there, but you know, snappers, that's down south. So that's more down south. So I'm not sure they got that up there. But if I could, I'm going to do it there and some of them for sure. We had a chance to talk to Broderick. Just uh, having a lineman like him, what does that do as far as your confidence, knowing that you got a guy up there you can count on? Man, um, it's definitely uprising because you got a guy like him that big that can run and move people out of the way. Um, it definitely brings excitement to the game just to see him run, be able to run behind him, a big guy like that. And um, just the way he moves is everything about him. Like that. A guy like that definitely is a free athlete. So, yeah. What are some of the bigger examples of ways that have you seen the offensive line improve from game one to right now? Say that again? No, have some of the ways that the offensive line, in your view, improved. has improved since game one to right now? Um, I say they've been definitely working hard and. Um, at all their skill set and stuff like that, I'd say pad level. Um, like I said, um, moving people out the way and stuff mm -hmm. like that, getting to the second level has definitely been a, a, a good impact for us and uh, helping us run the ball. We asked Roger this, who do you think is the best basketball player on this team? I am. You are? He said he is. He, he said, said he is. is. He yeah. know he we ain't been on the court at the same time, but if we ever did, he'll see. Cause you're, you're really accomplished like high school hoops player. How did that? I, tell him that. <laughs> <laughs> I ain't gonna lie. Nah, it probably. <laughs> like I what's, said, he. What's basketball. basketball, man. He said he's basketball player. Why are you doing all that in front of these cameras? <laughs> <laughs> like, listen. Me come back over. <laughs> <laughs> I was on a national team with you. I ain't gonna talk about him right now. I'm just not like you right now. But not. I mean, you played a time, you played with Scotty Barnes. Yeah. How did. Playing basketball and playing it as well as you did, how did that help you as a running back and sort of the athleticism? Changing directions, really. Um, I can remember running those suicides and all that on the basketball court. It's just a different type of um, conditioning, you would want to say, but it's, it's definitely different from football. Um, changing directions, be able to shuffle your feet and stuff like that. I ain't gonna lie, I was a defensive guy. I ain't gonna lie. See, he's not gonna be able to score. He can't score, he can't win. So I was a defensive guy, and um, just yeah, it taught me a lot with my feet. Just have my feet, really. So you, say, so you say you're the best. Would you beat Darnell? Of course. Darnell <laughs> can't get to the basket. He's going to be able to dribble. He's trying to take some time. He's a blocker. See, he might got that. I got to shoot on him. <laughs> <laughs> Being a defensive guy, like it seems like that would help in pass protection. Like, slide definitely. Is that definitely. something that helped you when you first got here? Uh, it definitely was. But really coming up here, learning from um, these other guys and stuff like that, um, really showing me and my coach, McGee, definitely. It take um, repetition, you know what I'm saying? So, yeah, the basketball is going it's gonna to help you with your feet and stuff like that. But unless you out there really, you got them guys running fast at you, and, you know what I'm saying? They're not doing it in basketball unless you're trying to take a charge or something like that. So, I mean, unless you get reps like that, that's, that's how you're going to get better. Who's your starting five among your teammates? Starting five what? Starting five among your teammates. Like, who would you have on your team, you and? Basketball? Yeah. Uh, I got to go up with bro. Um, <laughs> I'll take Darnell. I heard about Darnell out there. Um, who else? I ain't even going to say him because I know he's trying. Um, <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying to think. He put me on the spot. I want to say Stetson. You know, he's a quarterback. I hope he can shoot. I ain't seen him on the court yet either. So I hope he can, you know, in the corner when I'm driving, dishing out the him. 
Um, who else? What that is a big a forward shooting guard. I'm another shooting guard. Uh, oh, receiver, I need a point could, guard. Huh? None of the wide receivers that they could. Lab, yeah, we're talking about Lab. I ain't seen. Uh, Lab is good. Lab, that is definitely an athlete, freak athlete. But I'm. Uh, <laughs> I need me a little point guard. I think I'm gonna go with either Chris or Taiki, one of them. The one who can dribble the ball, let's see. Or Trezman. Trezman. I heard Trezman can play basketball too. How often do you get to go out to uh, Ramsey during the off season? And to be honest. I ain't been on the court in a minute. I ain't been to Ramsey in a minute. But I know if I get out there, it's just like sick of second nation. I can go out there and flip flops on and shoot around and do anything. Um, but I haven't been there for a little minute, actually. Also, a virtual account, some uh, summers he would work out with the basketball team. Have you seen him play basketball? On you said house? Richard was working out with the basketball team? This was a few summers ago. I but, ain't uh, never heard of that. You for real? <laughs> he was working with the basketball team? And Just during the offseason. I never heard of that. It's crazy. But um, what's your question again? Have you ever seen him hoop? Have you ever played? I've never seen him hoop. Um, since you want to take it back that far, I think Solly and Swift, they're the only ones. Like me and Swift used to be shooting in the locker room just for fun and stuff like that. Um, and I heard he can play basketball too. But um, Solly, Solly definitely a bit like Roger, a big guy that can move and dribble. And I seen him on the court a couple of times. So. Them would be on my team if we were talking about that yesterday. Did you ever like a mini hoop in the locker room? Uh, we did, actually. Uh, they took it away, actually. <laughs> <laughs> we didn't got it in there no more. But we, we definitely did have one in there. Like, before me and these just be shooting in there. Me and Swift used to be the last one going to be and so still in there shooting. But, yeah. Hey, let me ask you a non basketball question. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Kirby's halftime speech in Florida was a topic this week. Uh, did that leave an impression on you? Since halftime speech, or last year, um, no, nah, that's just Kirby. Um, Kirby wanted the best for us. He wanted to go out there and be perfect. Um, that's how we he expect us to practice, and he expect us to be a suspended here at Georgia. So, um, I don't see anything wrong with what he said or how he said it. That's just Kirby. You know, Kirby, listen to the tone, not the word, but how he said it. So, that's all. Uh, what did you know about this rivalry before you got? This rival, like Georgia versus Florida. Yeah, I always knew it was a rival. Um, I think I played in the Florida eighth grade year. It was Florida versus Georgia. Um, I believe I was on the Florida. Yeah, I definitely was on the Florida team with Cook. Me and Cook first playing. That's my first time playing together. And um, it was just excitement how the way that game was uh, for us to be eighth graders out there in front of the, this crowd in Georgia. And um, it just always was a big thing, and you know Georgia always claimed they got better athletes in Florida, and you know that's not that's not really true or accurate. So um, <laughs> I've been knowing about this. So was that like a halftime? You guys got to go out there and play for the game? Is that what you're saying? When the, when you were in eighth grade? At halftime, we got out to play. No, nah, we had a whole. It's like an All Star game. Okay. Florida versus Georgia. And, oh, okay. I got we you. was like on the Florida team. Yeah, yeah. playing against the Georgia and just Did a lot. I think we came up short. I think, <laughs> I think we did come up short, <laughs> but we ain't gonna talk about that. <laughs> what have you learned though about the rivalry now that you've played in it and gotten to see the crowd and, and that sort of thing? It's a fourth quarter game. We're definitely gonna be uh, we're gonna go out and give them our best shot. Um, they're gonna give us their best shot. Um, we want to start our fast. De definitely gotta start our fast. I see. Um, it's a SEC opponent, so all SEC opponents gonna be tough and. and you just need to go out there and execute. That's all. Roger was talking about you're a back that can you know make people miss, run people. Did you? Do you feel like you came into college already with that skill set, or just something you really had to work on since you've been here? I think I, I definitely came in with that skill set. Um, just being able to show it more on Saturdays was what I've been patient for and waiting my turn for. Um, I definitely, yeah, they definitely knew that coming in. You had two older brothers that had a pretty good collegiate career, one even went on to the NFL for a little bit. Mm -hmm. How did they prepare you to be who you are today and help kind of help you grow up? Really, uh, my, the way our dad, our dad raised, raised us up, just competition, we weren't scared of competition or anything like that. So I used to compete with them. We used to want to be better than them at everything. And um, I, th I think that's what helped me in, in ways in uh, becoming a football player. But them, they always, like even when we work out together back at home, working out, we steady pushing each other and just trying to get the best out of each other because we want the best for each other. So um, 
think it's good to have older brothers to push you in. Um, you know, you ain't always got to hear from your dad. It's just a different voice in your ear, you see what I'm saying? So as a kid, you get tired of hearing your father talk or your mother talk, stuff like that. So just to be able to have that other voice in your ear to, to, to motivate you in, in ways is definitely a blessing. Plus, time two more. Anybody else? Mm -hmm. Yeah, Coach, you right. good? All right.